Hello everyone, this is Cliff. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. Now, had a massive screw up with the recording, uh, the Vendrick fight. Uh, so, my apologies there, but basically what happens is once you beat King Vendrick, you walk over here, cut those down. Now, we're going to become. Oh, excuse me. Let me move that mouse cursor out of the way. I'm going to use that to become human. And this will allow us to open this. All right. So in this very simple throne, we'll grab the soul of the king. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk through here. This should be all of his equipment. And that's all of uh, the king's stuff. So. Uh, basically what you had to defeat uh, King Vendrick and you had to be human uh, to get all of that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna warp back and at this point we're pretty much ready to take on the final boss so I'm going to put a cut here and when we come back we'll be pretty much in the same area that the final boss is in okay so we are back at King's Gate Headed towards the throne of throne of want. And we're gonna have two companions with us again. This this will not be a solo fight, much like the uh, other battle in the throne of want. We're gonna we're gonna have the same two guys helping us out. All right, so we're just gonna run through here. Get the pop up. All right, so uh, everything's done. Ventric has been. Uh, killed and sorry again for uh, that recording screw up. Uh, got a long walk down here. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do is oh, we're gonna stop because I can't keep up with where I'm going. I'm gonna equip the ring of binding that should be on. All right. Guess I will equip curse bite ring. That will help protect against that curse. The uh, final boss uses a lot of curses. Um, if you've gone through Dream Lake Castle and seen that big portrait of her, um, you, you saw how quickly your curse rating uh, went up while you were in proximity to it. So it's basically the same thing. She's going to create these little, uh, basically, curse orbs. And um, I'm going to try to. See what we got here. I don't think I can quite equip both of those. Um, maybe I can. All right, so we're gonna go heavy after her real quick. All right, there'll be a talk scene. This is the true face of Nashandra. Grave undead. You have proven yourself to me. Okay, so basically what the plan is, is she's going to create these curse balls around the arena. I'm going to take care of... Ooh. I'm going to take care of a couple of them. Alright, now it's all about her. Uh, obviously, things did not go well the first playthrough, and I managed not to rage quit uh, because I did something really stupid. So what I'm going to do is just go after her, and if I stay here too much longer, I'm going to be in trouble with the curse. So let me unlock and figure out... Uh, cursed. 
thinking it would be. Alright, so she's going to create some more. I'm going to do my part to dispel all of them. Alright, now at this point I'm going to switch up and change weapons and... And thankfully, because I have friends who she's going to pay attention to more than me, I can kind of get away with being a little, uh, a little loose with uh, my blocking. And there she goes. Yay. Okay, so t not a terribly bad fight. Like I say, if you've got a wide swinging weapon, you can easily get rid of the balls real easy. And then I just switch out to my heavier weapon. Uh, basically, in my first playthrough, I, uh, I I got hit by, she has an area of effect attack, and basically just did not pay it any attention at all. Got blasted by it. Pretty much killed me in one hit. Uh, I was quite upset because I had basically beaten her. Uh, so at this point, uh, we've won the game. And I don't know if you can go back through this. Apparently not. I always wondered that. I wonder if there was two kind of endings. But uh, basically to end the game, or to see the ending, just go here. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Great Sovereign, take your throne. Possibly should have changed helmets before seeing this cutscene. What lies ahead, only you can see. Okay, so at this point you get the uh, in-game credits, and uh, basically at this point, let me take the headphones off, uh, at this point uh, several other options open up, uh, Cloan will actually have a few more items that you can purchase, and there will be a new option when you talk, uh, there will be a, basically a new game plus option. Um, we're not going to do any of that because we do have the download content to go through. Um, I'll start out with the uh, Crown of the Sunken King and then do the Iron King uh, content. And I think next week or maybe this week is when the third and final uh, download content comes out. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, again, not a terribly difficult final boss. Some would argue that Gwen was not a terribly difficult final boss once you realized that you could parry the majority of his moves. So, uh, kind of a Dark Souls tradition. Um, 
but uh, Nishandra certainly it would be a difficult uh, final boss if you were trying to do it by yourself. So uh, hats off to anybody who can. It, it, it would take a lot of curse management using the binding ring and curse bite ring and being able to kind of um, keep her in sight while you're attacking those curse orbs. Uh, of course, I guess if, if you're uh, using the binding ring, you can probably just keep getting cursed and your hit points won't go below, I think, 80%. Uh, so that would probably negate all of that. You would just have to worry about her attacks and uh, the area of effect spells that she has. So not, not a terrible boss, but kind of cool. Um, so I am going to shut up and let the uh, credits play and uh, hopefully show you a few things when we're warped back to Majula. <laughs>